The reaction of alkali metals with water is a really good way to demonstrate the trend in ionization energies in the alkali metals. Now, the alkali metals are the metals of column one of the periodic table, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium. And we can add sodium, potassium, rubidium to water and watch the reaction between water and those metals. Let's look at that a little more carefully. So the reaction is the metal with water to form hydrogen and the metal hydroxide. When the reaction occurs, the ionization actually occurs. It's a redox reaction. So these electrons are transferred from the metal to the water to form the hydroxide ion. And this reaction, the formation of the hydroxide ion, releases quite a bit of energy. But the reaction of ionization, we know, absorbs energy. You have to put energy in to ionize, but then you get some back out when you form the hydroxide. So the less you have to put in to ionize, the more can come out overall. Because the overall reaction here is going to be a sum of these two. So if you have a lower ionization energy, you'll have a more vigorous reaction overall because more energy is allowed to be released. So when you look at the demonstration and you see sodium, potassium, and rubidium reacting in water as they go down the periodic table, the ionization energy is getting lower, so the overall reaction is getting more vigorous. We have metal being ionized, water forming hydroxide ion, more vigorous reaction for lower ionization energies.